As you take a look at the series history, this is the first time these two teams have faced each other ranked since 2012. As I mentioned, the last four meetings decided by seven points or less. Sutton and Trey Brown back deep. Cameron Dicker, the kicker, ready to send it away for UT. The Red River Showdown, Texas, OU. Here we go. And Oklahoma will get a shot. Trey Brown gets to the 20, 30, and finally chopped down at the 35 by Cameron Dicker. A 31-yard return. And that brings off Kyler Murray, the quarterback for Oklahoma. He was benched last week for showing up late to a practice. I tell you, they need to bench this kid every week the say, way maybe, he plays. Maybe they should, right? He was unbelievable last week. And this guy's combination of elite athleticism, the ability to run the ball, and his efficiency throwing it is so rare. Texas is very concerned about letting Kyler Murray get on the outside, using his legs to hurt him. From Allen, Texas, first and 10 of the 35. Out of the shotgun. Murray keeps it. Murray, quick. And he picks up a first down on his first carry of the game. Tyler Murray partner has feet line quickness. I'll tell you what, this guy is an elite runner of the football, very Lamar Jackson Jackson esque. But I think he's most dangerous when he's getting the ball down the field to players like Hollywood Brown. Watch out for a play action pass here early in the game to go for the big one. Brown in motion. They swing it out to him in the flats, and he'll pick up the first down. Hits the sideline, still on the move out of bounds for Marquise Brown at the 40. That dude is a bad... Shut your mouth. No, so I'm just talking about Hollywood. <laughs> he gave 16 on his first touch. First and 10 at the 40. Trey Sermon in the backfield. Got the bulk of the carry since Rodney Anderson went down against UCLA with the season-ending knee injury. Murray gives it to him. Sermon trying to get outside and does. Switches hands, powers his way forward, and picks up a first down. Brandon Jones there to knock him out of play after a 12-yard gain. No secret that OU likes to start fast. They're one of the best first quarter teams in the country, one of the best first drive teams in the country. A year ago in this game, they did it with Trey Sermon on the ground in the first drive, and then it was a big strike from Mayfield down the field to C.D. Lamb. But I still am waiting for that play action pass. You know a shot is coming. You've got to be aware if you're the Texas defense of the deep ball to number five. First three plays, nine yards, 16 yards, and 12 yards for OU. First and 10 of the 28. Murray looking, throws down the field. Calcaterra, touchdown Sooners. Greg Calcaterra, the California kid, replaced Mark Andrews this season, and he's paying off big for Lincoln Riley. What a route from Calcaterra, an even better pass from Murray. First of all, he's just going to get into the seam, and he's going to find the open spot down the field. And what Calcaterra is able to do is get vertical, and then he goes vertical to catch that pass, and Murray threw it perfectly, perfectly up away from the defenders, and Calcaterra may have fallen just short of that goal line when it came down. It's all a matter of where that ball is. Looks and like it is short. And also completing the process of the catch. So this will be two full. So we know that the ball can hit the ground and the ball can move. The question is going to be does he absolutely lose possession of the ball after he hits the ground? I'm really not sure. Yeah, there you go. You see that he does lose possession of the ball when he hits the ground. So when it spins away like that, I think that's loss of possession, incomplete pass. I agree. And remember now that process of the catch is so important. And Mike, he secures the ball. He obviously gets the foot down, but then there's not a football move. So now we're going to the ground. He's got to control it through contact of the ground. After reviewing the play, when the receiver hit the ground, he did not maintain control of the football and it hit the ground. It's an incomplete pass. Ball will be returned to the previous spot. It's second down. And that's the key with Kyler Murray. 
Hollywood, bottom of your screen. Murray, play fake, looking over the middle, caught. Sermon, great catch, on the move, and he'll go down inside the Texas five. What an amazing little route. This is the RPO. Watch, he's going to come in, and then he's going to go right out into the middle of the field. Sermon is on the route. Murray's reading the defense, and then he's wide open. Great read from Kyler Murray. He can give it on the run play, or he can take it out, throw it right down the field, and as the linebackers scoot up towards the line of scrimmage, it's an easy completion. A gain of 24 yards, first down and goal at the Texas four. Opening series for Oklahoma. The drive started at the 35. Murray decides to run it. Throws on the run. Hollywood Brown. Touchdown OU. Last week, Brown, five catches, 132 yards and two touchdowns. His seventh 100 yard game. I want you to watch Murray as he takes off. This is the effect of electric athleticism. See how he's going? Now the defender has to make a decision. He decides to go with Murray. Murray flips it out. Easy touchdown. Brown walks in. And Joel, just looking at this Oklahoma team, we had him week one against Florida Atlantic. We saw him against UCLA. They have so many weapons, so many replaceable parts. And they get better every week. Remember, Murray has not played a ton of football, so every week he gets more and more dangerous. The deep man for Texas, Austin Seibert, sends it away. And this would kick out of the end zone for a touchback. So that beat in Texas history. First and 10 of the 25. Watson in the backfield. He let the clock run out. That is a bad Three mistake. Offense, five-yard penalty. It's first off. Penalties a problem for Texas last week. Ten penalties last week. They had ten against Maryland. This is certainly a team that has struggled with those yellow hankies on the field, and that's something you have to avoid if you're going to pull an upset. First down at 15 to the 20. Ellinger looking. Quarterback run. And Ellinger picks up positive yardage. Crossing the 25 up to around the 28. Khalil Hugden coming up with the tackle. Uh, this OU defense, you know, they've been much maligned, but they are better than they have been in years previous. And Mike Stoops knows that he's got to put together a great game plan today to stop Texas, who's been playing very well. Second down and eight, empty backfield for Ellinger. He'll throw it underneath and it's caught. On the move, Lil Jordan, and Lil Jordan Humphrey breaks it outside and finally goes down inside Oklahoma territory. Kenneth Murray with a tackle after a gain of 28. What a great design there from Texas. They love those little wide receiver screens, and the big wide receiver has been a problem for Oklahoma. And these guys on the outside for Texas, they are grown men. Lil Jordan Humphrey stands at 6'5. Colin Johnson, 6'6. Ellinger winds up down the field. Over the shoulder inside the 10. Colin Johnson. 36 yard pickup. It's going to be a problem for Oklahoma all day. Parnell Motley, who's in coverage, number 11 in the corner. He's only six foot. And the 6'6, 220 pound Colin Johnson runs a terrific route. And what a great throw from Sam Ellinger right over his shoulder. First down and goal at the nine for Texas on their opening series. They'll run it with Watson, the Cal transfer. And he gets inside the five. Kenneth Murray with the tackle again. There was all sorts of extracurricular on that play. Brendan Radley Hiles and Colin Johnson were getting after it. Both of their helmets got knocked off. The officials now talking to Colin Johnson. They're going to have to remove him from the field. Let's try to see. The Bradley Howes, number, number 44. Nine. He's there. The Texans came off. He has to sit out one play. So two California guys, Colin Johnson and Buki, going at it, chest bumping. You like the early energy from both squads. Second and goal at the five for Texas. Ellinger running it. 
Not a lot of room as he dives forward, but there is a flag on the play. Curtis Bolton with the tackle. Illegal formation. Offense had five players in the backfield. Five-yard penalty. It's second down. Oklahoma has not stopped the team in the red zone yet this year, partner. And, and look at this. You just have the wide receivers that are too far off the line of scrimmage. They've got all five of them in the backfield. Pretty easy call there for the head linesman. And Texas, they've struggled in the red zone, just like the OU defense. This is a theme. This is weakness against weakness. We always talk about strength against strength, right? But this is weakness against weakness. Texas is one of the worst in the country cashing in in the red zone only 68 percent score percentage that's 125th OU's defense dead last in the country second down and goal at the 10 as they move it back for UT Ellinger looking delivers in the corner and incomplete looks like a hold and yes flag on the play Colin Johnson the intended receiver Carnell Motley had a fist Full of his jersey and the key was that Johnson Pass interference defense number 11 foul occurred in the end zone the ball will be placed at the two yard line watch the this watch as Johnson foul. goes after the football how many times do we see a wide receiver just give up and then complain for the flag and say they were held the fact that he tries to go back and up for the ball that's what ultimately allows the official to see the hold and that grab down low first and goal of the two Little Jordan Humphrey in the end zone to Colin Johnson. Touchdown, Texas. Cameron Dicker in to attempt the extra point. And it's good. It's responding, going on a five play, 75 yard drive, scoring in two minutes and six seconds to tie it up at seven as Dicker sends it away. And this one kicked deep and out of the end zone. Buckeyes came back. And won that one in a big way. First and 10 of the 25 for Oklahoma. And they'll hand it off. Sermon slicing through the hole, crosses the line of scrimmage, keeps those legs churning. Aminahu finally wrestling him and down at a, after a gain of three. Huge key for this Texas defense is that they've got to stop the running backs for OU. You cannot allow the running backs to start churning out yardage because then the RPO run pass option plays, the play action pass, they start to get the ball down the field with more efficiency. So that's got to be a focus is making sure their eyes are on Trey Sermon early. Now remember when Murray takes off, he is one of their better running backs. Second and seven at the 28. Here he is looking, delivers on the sideline. CD Lamb out of bounds. Beautiful throw and great catch. C.D. Lamb with the gain of 26. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Normally you get a guy that is an elite athlete and he doesn't throw passes like that. That is so beautiful. A layered pass over the shoulder of a corner route. Come on. That what is, are we doing, Murray? C.D. Lamb had his second 100-yard game of the season last week against Baylor. Three catches, 101, and a touchdown. First and 10 of the 46. Murray sprints out of the pocket, looks backside over the middle, and it's C.D. Lamb once again, but a flag. I think they're going to get a hold on the inside against Cody Ford, number 74. Holding. Offense number 74, 10-yard penalty, first down. Well, you're going to watch Cody Ford, number 74. And as he's going down and then watch Texas defender tries to come back and he just throws him to the ground right there. Very easy. That's number 60. Brecken Hager. Cool story of why he's wearing number 60. By the way, he's honoring Tommy Novus. Ford is called for the holding there. First down and 20 at the 44. Brown lining up in the backfield. Murray dumps it off to Brown. Oh, and he gets decked. Chris Boyd said, not on my side. A loss of three. Boyd is the kind of player that will be playing on Sundays next year. They got big physical wide receivers at Texas. They've got big physical corners as well. Boyd is six foot, almost 200 pounds. You see how good he is keeping that outside arm free, getting Hollywood to the ground. 
Excellent chance here for Texas to get off the field defensively. Boy, preseason all Big 12. Second and 23 after the three yard loss. At the 41, Murray sprints out to the other side now. Stops, delivers, picked up! Intercepted by Brandon Jones, and Texas has it. Flag on the play. Personal foul, illegal block below the waist. Passing team number one. 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. It's first down, Texas. From Texas, and now great field position. Longhorns will start at the Oklahoma 29. Keontae Ingram in the backfield. With Sam Ellinger. Ellinger to throw it on first down. All day steps up, wants to run, and he'll slide down. About a yard in front of the line of scrimmage. And when you look at Ellinger, it seems like his confidence is just growing by leaps and bounds every day. To me, it's it's the decision making. You see how confident he is in his decisions, going through the progression, choosing to run when he needs to. No gain on the play. Second and ten of the 29. And OU's going to have to play those safeties back like you're seeing and give some help to those corners for these big wide receivers. Gallagher hands it off this time. Great pressure by Oklahoma. Kenneth Mann, the redshirt junior from Burleson, Texas. With the tackle for the loss. And man cleaned it up, but it was Curtis Bolton with the pressure in the backfield. That's why Ingram had to adjust. And then man was right there. And now Oklahoma with a great opportunity to force a kick after the turnover. Third down and 11 at the 30. Texas needs to go to the 19 for first down. Empty backfield for Ellinger. Sam Ellinger under pressure underneath caught but way short of the first down Devin Duvernay who is the cousin of Kyler Murray the starting quarterback for the Sooners I mean that's a big sequence right there because the sudden change defense you got to go out there and force a kick and OU was able to do that that's a huge win for the Sooners regardless of what happens with this kick that brings on Dicker the kicker Cameron Dicker five of eight on the season his long is 46 yards against USC this one from 44 yards away and he drills it that they got in the last series and Todd Orlando the defensive coordinator will send his unit right back on the field here Dicker sends it away and this one sails out of the end zone for third Oklahoma has only trailed for 99 seconds all year. Here's the option. They pitch it. Sermon trying to get downhill, and he will not. Brandon Jones coming up and playing the run. So he's got an interception and a big stick right there. Yeah, what a great play from Brandon Jones. He came all the way back. He was the deep safety on that play and filled what they call, Gus, the alley, meaning he's going to come kind of hash number sidelines type of a path, and he goes right through the inside hip of the running back. He's playing great football right now for Texas. Second down and nine at the 26. 527 to play here in the first quarter of the Red River Showdown. Tyler Murray throwing an interception on OU's last possession. Murray pulls it out, looking, now dancing, stops, backs up, all day to throw. Look at this blocking by Oklahoma. And Murray high stepping, woo! Did you see him change gears to pick up the first down? Anthony Wheeler finally grabbed him and brought him down. I'll tell you, man, first the protection was incredible. The coverage downfield was incredible. And then Murray has nowhere to go with the football. This is looking to his left and to his right. There's nowhere to go. Great coverage. The line did an outstanding job. And then you're right, Gus, it was just boom, the spark and the quickness. And remember what Lincoln Riley told us when we asked him how many of his offensive linemen would be heading to the pros. He said, well, Gus, all of them. That's right. <laughs> you can tell right there. First and 10 of the 37. Marcellus Sutton. And he'll have to fight his way to get across the line of scrimmage. He continues to churn and he'll gain four yards the hard way. Now that's a physical run right there. Pushing the pile. Able to gain a few yards. That's big for this team because again that run game so important but it doesn't seem like the Oklahoma run game is where they want it to be at this point. 
Well, I think it, it seems that way because Rodney Anderson's not on the field. But Gus, they average six yards per carry. Trey Sermon has been a pretty good. Good for them. I just don't think they've got the home run ability that they've had in the past. We'll see if they can get that today. Second down at six. Murray to the sideline. Up high. CD Lamb pulls it down. First down. OU. I know Hollywood Brown gets a lot of attention, but CD Lamb is one of the best receivers in the country. He makes about once a game, he makes one of those just like flash catches. It's just like, whoa. And even right there, look at that. Jumping up over his left shoulder. Look how high he gets. High points. I mean, come on, man. Were you telling me about something about a radius that the scouts look at? Catch radius? CD Lamb's catch radius is like, just throw it. And I got a chance. He proved it on the last play. First down and 10 of the 49. Murray, quick strike this time. And it's Lee Morris. Morris picks up another first down for Oklahoma. Chris Boyd with the tackle. And they finally got to establish a rhythm here. And they're not finding a lot of success in the middle of that Texas defense. What we're finding out now in this early game plan for Oklahoma, these outside little screen routes, swing passes out of the backfield, that's what's been most successful so far for the Sooners. First down to the 35 for OU. And they're running. Sutton gets through the hole. And crosses the 30 down to the 29. Anthony Wheeler for Texas. Well, this Texas defense led by Todd Orlando, you know, they've been playing so well, and he's ha had a history of playing well against Oklahoma. Orlando, when he was at Houston, beat Oklahoma when Riley was the coordinator. Orlando's defense last year here at Texas was the only defense all year that kept Baker Mayfield and this OU offense under 30 points. So we'll see what type of adjustments he starts to make here. Second down and five in the 30. Murray hands it off. Sutton gets downhill and a first down for the Sooners. Gary Johnson with the tackle after the seven yard pickup. I like Sutton. He's a little smaller, only 5'9, 192 pounds, but the senior, he understands the importance of this game. He's been here, he's done that. You know, he wants to put a stamp on the Red River showdown and Certainly gaining a lot of positive yards on this drive. First down to the 23 for OU. Down 10 7. They scored on their opening drive. The second drive, Murray threw a pick. They're changing the play. They saw a blitz from Texas. Murray gets it off. Sutton hops backwards and gets upfield or downfield. This time he gains six. Nice block from 45. Carson Meyer, the fullback, huge part of this offense. Second and four. Sutton again, looking for the first down, and he'll be short of it. I believe P.J. Locke comes up and makes the hit. So that brings up third down and one at the Texas 14 for Oklahoma. And they'll bring in the bigger back. Trey Sermon checks into the ballgame. Six foot, 222 pounds now in the backfield. Sutton will stay with him, number 21. Third and short. Murray likes to run it down here. Hands it off. Oh, what a play by Texas Sutton. Hit in the backfield and he'll lose a yard. Chris Nelson, as well as B.J. Foster in on the play. I tell you what, this is a great little inside move. Inside of the tackle and he's right there to make first contact. And then Gary Johnson finishes him off. Makes it fourth down and two with the 15. And that's the end of the first quarter. 10-7 Texas, but Oklahoma threatening. Back to the Cotton Bowl right after this. Got it up. And good. Cyber will kick it away. 
Deshaun Jameson, the deep man. And once again, kicked out of bounds. 68 yards to start from his own 25. Watson. And he'll get to the 30. Four yard gain. Last year in this game, Ellinger nearly outdo Baker Mayfield. He threw for 278 yards and a touchdown. He also rushed for 110 yards. Yeah, and we did that game last year against C as well. I mean, this guy plays big in big moments, and this year he has avoided that late mistake that plagued them in several close ball games a year ago, and that's why a big reason why you've seen them win four straight. Second and six. Ellinger to throw it. Bounces out of the pocket. Ellinger stops. And picks up a first down. Kenneth Murray with the tackle. And I tell you what, partner, when I look at Texas nowadays, I see Ohio State all over them in terms of that quarterback run game. Well, this could be JT Barrett. Yeah, and, and listen, that's kind of where Tom Herman was. Remember, he was the coordinator of the national champion Ohio State team. He brought Tim Beck, who's the coordinator now, who had experience with and was a coordinator for Ohio State even after Tom Herman left. So there is that feeling of the, the comfort of allowing your quarterback to gain yardage and get big conversions. First down for Ellinger. Throws over the middle and caught. Duvernay found a soft spot and he makes the reception in front of Trey Brown. Solid protection in the pocket allowed Ellinger to step up and then he's able to get the ball down the field and Duvernay with just a great catch. Look how he corralled that ball and then got his arm under it as he went to the ground. Gain of 13 another first down. Here's Luke Jordan and he'll dive forward. Luke Jordan Humphrey from South Lake Texas and he picks up seven on the play. Think about Ellinger he's a big dude 6'3 230. But it's not just that he's tough. You know, that's that's the thing I love about him. He is not afraid to get in there and mix it up. You can see that on game in, game out basis. Second down to three. Ellinger again flips it out. Little Jordan looking for the first down, and he has it. Let's go downstairs to Jenny. Well, guys, in talking about Sam Ellinger, he says, I am not the same quarterback I was last year against Texas. He said every year when they're playing the same team from the past, they watch that game film. He said it was pretty eye-opening. I thought I understood last year. I thought I knew what I was doing. No, no. I have made so many adjustments to my game. I understand college football better. I don't pay attention to the hype the same way I did last year. He is a leader, and we are seeing that today, guys. It's almost as if this kid was born to be the quarterback at the University of Texas first and 10 at the 39 Ellinger quarterback run Ellinger with a block flag on the play and he'll dive forward and get close to the fan this is these are the moments adorable first down and 20 though after the penalty Ellinger in trouble breaks a tackle trying to get back to the line of scrimmage he does but the Oklahoma defense Swarming. Neville Gallimore, Kenneth Mann, Curtis Bolton all in on the play. And what you're going to get is the blitz from the left side, and it just opens wide up. That is a total missed assignment from the guard there, number 77, Patrick Vahe. He's got to slide off and get the blitzer. When you've got Caleb Kelly right in your lap as a quarterback, you got no chance. And Ellinger was trying to make chicken salad there, did the best he could. Second down and 20 at the 49. Sam Ellinger delivers and incomplete. That ball thrown low. Little Jordan, the intended receiver. Just didn't have the ability to step up and put enough on that pass. And he couldn't put too much air on it because Bookie Radley Hiles was sitting there as a safety. And this is one of those times when you might have to just lean on a big receiver and try to get a 50 50 ball down the field if you're Texas that's why OU better have safeties back and give their smaller corners a little help over the top third down and 20 at the 49 Watson in the backfield with Ellinger here's Sam looking delivers caught but not enough of the first down for Andrew Beck he needed 20 and got 19 yeah and listen he now gives Herman a great choice here because you can go for this probably will go for this with the field position that they're able to gain. 
Nice catch by Beck. Fourth down and one. Texas going for it. Prior to the snap, this is the first charge timeout for Oklahoma. Timeout on the field. So Oklahoma calls a timeout. Position on fourth and short against the Sooners. Texas, three of five on fourth downs this year. Ellinger flips it out. He's got Watson looking for the first down, and he has it. Houghton makes the tackle, but Coach Herman going for it, and it pays off. And Watson originally bobbled that ball, was able to get possession, and then reached for the first down. First down at 10 of the 28. The run game's going to be there for Texas because OU's got to play their safeties back over these big wide receivers. Ellinger. Floats one in the air. Caught. Touchdown, Trey Watson. Cameron Dicker in to attempt the extra point. And it's good. And how about this? Strong to start up 17 10. Dicker sends it away. Take a knee in the end zone, Trey Brown. Mr. Back. Murray turns, bottled up, and taken down at the 15. Ominahu finally got him. But uh, Texas defense staying in their lanes, Joel. Yeah, and what you're going to see here is that Murray right here, he wants to go to his right, doesn't have it, tries to make a play with his feet. But there's just no blocking on that left side because they were trying to set up the screen to his right. Texas did a great job of faking the blitz, and then they peeled out of the blitz, and there was nowhere to go with the ball. A loss of 10 yards, second and 20. Murray runs it and dropped for a loss once again. Back-to-back -back plays by Charles Ominahu. And Omino is playing his best football of his life. And now it becomes a huge third down because it's a long yardage situation. You can't turn the ball over if you're Kyler Murray. And all the momentum is resting with the Longhorns. If I was Todd Orlando, I would send some pressure, try to make Kyler Murray make a quick decision. Who knows? Maybe he'll throw you another one. Herman on Murray, we have to find a way to pressure him because I've never seen a kid who is an elite passer and elite runner the way he is third down at 21 at the 14 Murray pulls it out rolls and just runs out of bounds great job by the Texas defense Gary Johnson PJ Locke chasing him out of bounds oh and you can hear him now those Longhorn fans appreciating what their defense was able to do a quick three and out. Jamal Charles and Vince Young, they're liking what's going on right now. And it was the fast and physical defensive line. Charles Ominahu with a huge series, the senior from Texas. Longhorns with a chance to get great field position. Cyber punting from the six. Deshaun Jamison, the deep man for UT. That's a take a bounce, and it takes a Oklahoma bounce and will be downed at the 25. Room in the backfield. For Texas, first down at the 25. Ellinger pulls it out with room. And picks up the first down. Sam Ellinger keeping that ball high and tight. Gains 14. You're going to have. Bookie's going to come right here. This is Brendan Radley Hiles. Watch as he just runs after the back, and nobody's on the outside. Easy read for Sam Ellinger, and he's able to get on the outside and move the chains once more. Bookie, a freshman from Inglewood, California. First down and 10 at the 39 after the 14 yard pickup. Ingram, stutter stepping through the hole. He'll pick up about three. Mark Jackson defensively. Neville Gallimore's helmet came off he'll have to sit out for one play you start to wonder about just the attrition of this defense I know it's still the first half but over the last two weeks Oklahoma's defense has been on the field for 82 minutes of time of possession that is an eternity you just wonder how much gas they have in the tank second and six
Ingram again. And a first down, Texas. This offensive line, after the Maryland game, criticized. They said they couldn't move anybody, Joel. Doesn't look like the same guys. This is what they've been waiting for, is an offensive line that wouldn't just get targeted and get hats on hats, but get movement. That's what Tom Herman has talked to us about, really, for the better part of a year and a half, is they got to get movement up front, and they're starting to do it now. With it. This is the last piece of the puzzle. If OU starts getting movement up front, watch out. If Texas starts Excuse getting Excuse me, yes, Texas. First and ten at midfield. Ingram pops free. Ingram still moving. And a first down for the Longhorns. They're getting movement now. What's changed? A lot of it is just effort, right? So what you're going to have is you're going to get blocked down, blocked down, and then watch as he's going to find the cut. There's the cut, and he's going to get on the outside. And that's the explosiveness of the true freshman. Ingram is the guy that's the home run hitter. He's averaging over six yards per carry, and you can see that suddenness and burst from him. He's from Carthage, Texas. First and 10 at the 36. Bellinger looking sideline and in, incomplete. Evan Duvernay, number six, the intended receiver. It's not a good throw by yeah, Sam. That had to just slip out of his hand or something because that was wildly inaccurate. And he has taken care of the ball. 139 consecutive pass attempts without an interception. Second longest streak in school history, only to Major Applewhite. Second and ten at the 36. Ellinger caught. Johnson turns it up, picks up a first down, and delivered a blow in the process to Houghton. Tackling has been an issue for OU all year on the outside, in particular against wide receivers that have a big frame. Akeem Butler from Iowa State had a big day over 100 yards, and there, another missed tackle on the outside. This time it's Trey Brown, the sophomore. He's unable to get Johnson to the ground, and extra yardage for the Longhorns. A 19-yard gain, first and 10 of the 17. Ellinger, here's the reverse. Lil Jordan wants to throw it, finds Ellinger, and he goes down short of the first down. Kenneth Murray pushes him out of bounds. But little Jordan has already thrown the touchdown in this game to Colin Johnson. A couple of attempts, a couple of completions, and Ellinger, it's four receptions for him in his last two games. Longhorns quickly to the line of scrimmage. They run the quarterback run. Ellinger first down. Touchdown, Texas. Moving people up front. The Longhorns. Wow. Dicker the kicker. And it's good. For the young man from Austin. This time, Oklahoma will get a chance. Brown. Trey Brown dives forward, flag on the play as he gets to the 30. Sports app. First down to 10 of the 18 for OU. They've got to get something clicking. Murray fires over the middle, and it's caught by Meyer. Big gain here for Carson Meyer, the redshirt senior from Tulsa. Gaining 18. Well, Lincoln Riley has the reputation as being one of the best, if not the best, play caller in college football. And he's got his work cut out for him here. Down 14 against a defense that's playing as well as anybody over the last three weeks. And a redshirt freshman, Kennedy Brooks, comes in. Hollywood Brown trying to get outside, breaks the tackle. And Brown finally goes out of bounds close to the first down. Caden Stearns ushering him out of bounds. But you like number 26, the redshirt freshman Kennedy Brooks. Kennedy Brooks does not have many carries on the season, but he's got some explosiveness. He's just a redshirt freshman, but three of his 12 carries have gone for over 30 yards. So look for Oklahoma to try to get a spark here. Brooks is their most explosive back out of the backfield. He had 107 yards and two touchdowns last week against Baylor. Second and one at the 45.
Murray hands it to Brooks, first down and more. Brooks breaks it back. And Kennedy Brooks, first touch, goes 20 yards. Caden Stearns had to hop on for a ride to bring him down. And there you go, a great read from Murray, first of all. He gets the give read from the outside linebacker, gets a shot there just under the chin, but then you see Brooks free down the field for a big gain, and now OU in some rhythm offensively. As a senior at Mansfield High School, he rushed for over 2,800 yards and 40 touchdowns. First down at the 36. Brooks again, powering his way forward. He gets inside the 30. A seven-yard gain. Anthony Wheeler with the tackle. Remember, it was this game last year that Mr. Anderson, Rodney Anderson, burst on the scene, really stole the feature back role from Trey Sermon, who was starting up to this point. Maybe this is the point where Kennedy Brooks starts to assert himself in this run game for OU. They certainly need a jolt. Second and three. C.D. Lamb, the motion man. Broken play, Murray, and he'll flip this to bombs. 29. Murray, near side, C.D. Lamb. That one goes right through his hands in front of Devontae Davis. Oh, look at this. Lincoln Riley getting aggressive. Feeling the pressure here at the end of the second quarter. Down 14. OU will stay on the field and go for it here on fourth. Fourth down and three. 3.03 to go in the second quarter. If you're going to go for it on fourth, I hate the fact that you threw it on third down. Two runs probably get it. Might be an emotional call here. Four wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. Fourth down and three. Murray. Underneath first down, C.D. Lamb. This time short-handed. And Lamb picks up the first down in front of Caden Stearns. A 12-yard gain. It's a great concept there. Flood the zone with players. There's just not enough Texas defenders there for the four wide receivers to that short side of the field. Very smart from Lincoln Riley. What am I doing questioning what he's doing on fourth down? He understood what he was trying to do, and they executed it for a first down. Lincoln Riley and Tom Herman are both Royals winners, which was the top assistant coach in the country when they were assistants at Ohio State and at Oklahoma. Here's the handoff to Sermon, and Sermon tackle from behind. He gets to the 15, B.J. Foster with the stop. Boy, it's tough sledding in the middle of that defense, isn't it? I mean, that defense is playing so well. In fact, over the last three weeks, Todd Orlando's crew, in the ninth best rushing defense in the country, giving up only 81 yards per game. So OU is trying to establish that run, but it's just tough to do it against those big boys up front. Tell you what, they are physical. We saw it against USC, second and eight at the 15. Murray with time dances out of the pocket and slides down looks like he has enough for a first down no remember now it's where you give yourself up if you go feet first so at the point where he starts to give himself up he was going to be short of that he started giving himself up right at about the 11 or 10 yard line right there is where they're going to call it down that is a yard short of the first down marker so Murray thought he had the first down but a little technicality there, and it's a great spot by the official. So that makes it third down and two of the nine. Play clock winding down again. He didn't get it off. The flag came out. Delay wow. game. That is a massive mistake from Kyler Murray. A third and short now is going to go to a third and obvious down situation around the seven to eight yards to go. It's, and is it me, Joel, or does Oklahoma looks, look a little disheveled on offense? Well, they always try to get into that perfect play call. The play clock 
expired with exactly one minute left. Please reset the game clock to one minute. There will be a delayed game by the offense. Five yard penalty. There is no 10 second runoff since the game clock is stopped with one minute. That's a, just an excellent job of officiating. Getting together, they discussed exactly where the game clock was, where the play clock was. No 10 second runoff, but again, the yardage may be even more important here than the clock because of the field position. Now this puts it into a more of an obvious passing situation for Oklahoma. Third down and seven at the 14. Now it looks like Texas wants a timeout. And the Longhorns will get it. The run play is still at his disposal here on third and seven. And if I were a betting man, I'd say he would go for it on fourth down in this situation. Texas offense is moving. Here's Murray. He'll run it. Murray looking for the first down, has it, and goes down at the five. A nine yard pickup on third and seven. That's a great design. Texas is playing a little bit soft in coverage right now. They're playing a zone, kind of a soft zone. So what they did is they released the lineman downfield, Ben Powers, and he was able to be a lead blocker for Kyler Murray. Oklahoma out of timeouts. Murray in the end zone, touchdown C.D. Lamb. Wide open. The threat of Murray's feet dragging the defense in. And then a blown assignment from the safeties. And Lamb was wide open. And Oklahoma, after a couple of gambles and a costly penalty, was able to get into the end zone. There you go. All the defenders going to Murray. Wide open. He just dumps it over the top. That's a critical series for Kyler Murray and the Sooners offense. So Oklahoma goes on an 11 play 82 yard drive that started at their own 18. They score in 444. 28 seconds of play in the first half. Sooners counter punching. Really solid plays, in particular that fourth down conversion and for the touchdown as well. Cyber kicks it off. And once again, he kicks it out of the end zone. Don't forget, the big shots are in town, partner. Coming up, the State Farm Halftime Show. All the big shots from Fox made the trip from Los Angeles. Rob Stone and Robert Smith, Coach Wanstatt, and the Heisman Trophy winner, Cool Matt Liner. They're going to have a lot to discuss because that guy has played unbelievable. 10 of 12 for 161 yards of Sam Ellinger. Texas has scored in their first four possessions so far. But here I would imagine they might be a little conservative. And they'll stay on the ground. Trey Watson. Here's an interesting stat for you folks. Under Coach Herman. Texas. Is 10 and 1 when leading at halftime. We will see. And the Longhorns have the football to start the second half. 24-17, our halftime score here at the Red River Showdown. After the break, join Rob Stone and the guys for scores, highlights, and analysis from right here at the State Fair. Been up front like we have been seeing. Not surprised by some of the big plays down the field with their big wide receivers, however. And this one kicked into the end zone. Let's all right, first down to the 25 for UT, and they'll run it on first down. Ingram with a hole, it'll pick up five. Gus, I think this is the 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 tipping point player for Texas is Keontae Ingram. He's the one that could potentially get this run game going, and the OU defense knows it. They know that he's electric in the backfield. Second and five at the 30. Ellinger underneath, caught close to a first down. And that's Colin Johnson. But getting back to Keontae Ingram. He hasn't had more than 10 carries in a game yet, in part due to a bone bruise on his knee. But they want to get him, as you mentioned, 18 to 20 carries. We'll run it this time. Look at the first down, and he has it. Hits the sideline. Ingram cuts it back inside and goes down. 
deep in Oklahoma territory. That's a 31 yard gain. Yeah, you can just see it, right? This guy has the explosiveness. He gets caught up in the backfield, and then watch as Ingram's going to find the hole on the outside there. Another jump cut, and now he's gone. He's got the explosiveness, even at 205 pounds as a true freshman. This kid is sensational. First down at the 35. Ellinger out of the pocket, and he'll slide down. And a gain one on the play. Boy, Ellinger just looks confident. He's not putting the ball in harm's way. He's making sure, efficient decisions, running when he needs to. He is Texas's leading rusher in the first half before Ingram busted out that long run. Second and nine of the 34 last week against Kansas State. Ellinger 29 of 36, 207 and a touchdown. Went over the 3,000 yard mark during his career at UT. Ellinger with time. Reverses and is clipped and goes down. What a play by Curtis Bolton. Well, Bolton was not on a blitz, and it was a really delayed blitz. Here's Bolton number 18, and you're going to watch him. He's in defense. He's in. He's like spying. He's spying. Now he comes, and he's able to get Ellinger to the ground with a nice shoestring tackle near the 50-yard line. First sack of the game for Oklahoma, and it's a loss of 12. Brings up third down and 21 for the Longhorns at the 46. Ellinger finds Little Jordan, and Little Jordan Humphrey holds his way forward. Gets a push from his mates, close to a first down. And the exact same scenario earlier in the game, a, a huge third down gain presents an easier fourth down opportunity, and Texas will go for it again here. Remember, OU has not stopped a fourth and short all year. Ingram in the backfield on fourth down and two. And a timeout called by the Soup and two. Ellinger wants to run it. Picks up a first down as he gets to the Oklahoma 20. A seven yard gain. Houghton with the tackle. Look at the movement up front. You're going to get blocking down, down, down. And then it's a big pull from that right guard, right tackle area. And you get Elijah Rodriguez leading up the hole for Ellinger. It's an easy conversion. First down at the Oklahoma 20 opening series for Texas here in the second half. Ellinger lost it in the air. And incomplete. Duvernay, the intended receiver, in front of Parnell Motley. And Motley with great coverage because he forced Duvernay over to the sideline. He has a corner. You got to use that sideline as an extra defender. Watch as he squeezes him over the sideline. Now there's nowhere to throw that ball. There's nowhere to catch that ball. All it can be is out of bounds. So a terrific job there from Parnell Motley, the junior from Washington, D.C. Second and 10 of the 20. Ellinger wants to run it again. Tim Tebow all day long. That's yeah, very Ohio State. You're right. Empty the backfield. It's Tebow. It's Florida from their days there. It's JT Barrett from Ohio State. That's exactly where Tom Herman and Tim Beck, the offensive coordinator, kind of developed their philosophy, trying to get a free couple of yards, and OU wasn't biting. Nice job by Kenneth Murray there, the middle linebacker, number nine. No gain. Third and ten of the 20. Sam Ellinger rips one underneath, caught, first down, little Jordan again. But there is a flag on the play. I think they're going to get holding on Oklahoma because been at running back for Texas. First and goal of the five. Back in motion. Ellinger running. Ellinger looking for a block. Touchdown, Texas. Easily back with the block to spring Ellinger for the touchdown. Dicker, extra point, good. Tom Herman said it. And Lincoln Riley, their head coach. And this one fielded at the goal line by Trey Brown. 
Good special teams coverage by Texas. This Thanksgiving, tickets are on sale now at OrleansArena.com. On first down, Sooners running it, and they're stopped. Trey Sermon, nowhere to go. Hager on the bottom of the pile for UT. Yeah, Hager doing a great job as well as Gary Johnson, number 33, the middle linebacker, and Lincoln Riley is going to have to make, make some adjustments here. It's pretty obvious that OU's defense is not going to stop Texas. They haven't done it all day long, and so now the pressure is on Kyler Murray and Lincoln Riley to find a way to match this Longhorns offense point for point, and it's going to be tough sledding because this Texas defense is playing fast. Second and 10 of the 17. Here's the option near side. Murray keeps it. And Murray gets out of bounds. As he shows once again that quick burst gets six yards on the play. And what Texas has done so well is that they've taken away a strength of Oklahoma. We have not seen Hollywood Brown or C.D. Lamb down the field open a chance to get a big play or a quick strike. We haven't seen it all day. A credit to those big corners and the safeties for Texas. Third down at four. Murray deep down the field. We saw him there, partner. They needed it. They needed it desperately. Sometimes you just got to dial it up. Let a player go make a play. This is just speed. Little crisscross at the line of scrimmage, and he says, I'm gone. When he gets the ball behind the defense, Gus, you know what it is. Over. <laughs> Certainly was there. So Hollywood, five catches, 103 yards, and two touchdowns. 9.15 to go in the third quarter. Tell you what, this is why I love the Big 12. <laughs> this is the greatest <laughs> offensive conference in all of college football. Hollywood Brown popping his collar now. Here come the Sooners. Cyber descended away, 31 to 24. Our score as Cyber kicks it deep once again. Parker, have you ever heard of the base? Four starting to get interesting here at the Red River. First and 10 of the 25 for Sam Ellinger. And he'll hand it off to Trey Watson straight ahead, and this time the Oklahoma defense was ready. Kenneth Mann, Kenneth Murray. Let's see if this defense can rise up and match the performance of their offense on that last drive potentially forced Texas to punt. Texas has scored on every possession that they've had the ball, save for the one where they just handed it off right before the half. Second down and eight at the 27. Ellinger under pressure. Ellinger sidesteps, delivers over the middle, incomplete. Andrew Beck, the intended receiver, that ball thrown high. Buki defensively for OU. What a huge third down here for the momentum of this game. Swinging towards the Sooners now. If they can get the ball back in the hands of Kyler Murray in their offense, they would have a chance to draw even in this ball game. But it all rests on their defense. Third down and eight at the 27. They have been able to get pressure this far, so far this season. 15 sacks coming into this game. Texas, two of five on third down conversions. Ellinger, empty backfield. Ellinger, dancing, throws, incomplete. Duvernay, the intended receiver. Motley right there, and Texas will force, will be forced to punt it away for the first time. Great coverage. First of all, you're going to see what looks like a blitz, but it's not really a blitz. Watch as Kenneth Murray is just spying, he's just spying, and then he releases on the outside right in Ellinger's face, and Ellinger had nowhere to go because of the coverage down the field. Looks to his left, nowhere to go with the ball. Looks to his right, blanket coverage. Excellent job by the Sooners' defense. Ryan Bucheski punting for the first time. C.D. Lamb is the deep man. C.D. backpedaling and has the fair catch back to him. Kennedy Brooks in the backfield. Murray scrambling and loses his footing. Drops the ball. Is that a turnover? There is no foul on the play. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. 
Two turnovers for Oklahoma. No turnovers for Texas. First down at the Oklahoma 23. Ingram looking and finds a hole and gets inside the 20. How demoralizing for this defense that finally got a stop. They forced a punt, and then the offense gives Texas the ball right back. Murray has thrown an interception and now coughed up a fumble. Second and six of the 19. Sam Ellinger hands it off to Ingram. And Ingram gained a couple. Kenneth Murray there once again along with Bolton. What a massive play here for OU's defense. Can they do it again? Can they force another kick? Third down and four at the 17. One on one coverage at the top. Ellinger likes to run it in these situations. Ingram in the backfield. Ellinger delivers underneath. Caught Johnson first down. Texas. And they still can't bring him down. Colin Johnson with a 10-yard pickup. It's clockwork. Every time there's just one safety in the middle of the field and it's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, they go to him. And rightly so. Colin Johnson is putting on a clinic right now. The big wide receiver, 6'6", 220 pounds. Great job. Now Ellinger running it far side, cuts inside and goes down at the Oklahoma 2. Motley with the saving tackle. Might see that same thing again, just like you've been saying, very Ohio State-esque. Maybe some Tim Tebow mixed in. They get down here, they rely on the quarterback. We'll see if they go right back to that quarterback counter over the right side. They've run it twice for touchdowns. Here we go, same play, same result. With three rushing touchdowns. And one passing touchdown to Trey Watson. Cameron Dicker. 38-24 this year. He's got three in the first five games this year and three today. Let's go to Greg Wolf. Against Michigan up 17-0 and losing. Kennedy Brooks. And Brooks with a nine-yard gain on first down. E.J. Locke with the tackle. See, this is when you risk not being in touch. You know, 14 is, is tough, in particular when you start getting inside of that 10-minute mark of the third quarter, inside of that six-minute mark of the third quarter. you got to stay in touch. This is a critical drive for OU to get down there and score a touchdown. Second and two at the 33. They flip it out. Far side. Brown, nothing doing. One of my favorite players in the Big 12, Devontae Davis, who, by the way, folks, is from Miami. So facing Hollywood is personal. Yes, it is. A couple of Flo Florida boys over there, 6'2", 205 for Devontae Davis. Honorable mention, all Big 12, all the way back in 2015. He missed the Tulsa game, but he's back. He's healthy. He's fast. He's physical. He's one of the better corners in this conference. 21 miles separates Miami from Hollywood, Florida. This is the first charge timeout for Texas. So Texas calls seconds. a timeout. 5.20 to play third quarter. Back after this. They need three yards. Kyler Murray dancing in the pocket. Murray looking. Up corks down the field. And incomplete. Lee Morris had it, just couldn't hold on. B.J. Foster in the vicinity. Boy, I thought when Murray was holding the ball that he had a chance to run for it on that left side with his speed, but he was trying to go for the home run. Morris should catch that. Gets through to defenders. I know it's tough because it's going right through their hands, but as it hits Morris in the hands, Boy, he's going to lament that one. That's one he surely should have brought in. Seibert will punt it away from his own 17. Deshaun Jamison is the deep man at the 20.
Takes a bounce. Jamison picks it up. And Jamison finally taking down at around the 17 yard line. Parnell Motley with the tackle on special. Most critical drive of the game. First down and 10 to the 18 yard line for Texas. Ingram. And he just catches the OU defense for nine. But again, it's movement up front. Patrick Fahe, the left guard, just displaced the defensive lineman. Huge hole up front. Ingram, nine carries, 75 yards, looking for the first down here, and he has it. The entire key for Oklahoma is first down. They're one of the worst defenses in the country once they get to third and short. They've only prevented two third and shorts. That's less than three yards all season long. So unless they get their opponent behind the chains, they have virtually no chance in that set of downs. Look for a pressure or a blitz or something from Mike Stoops to force Ellinger into a bad decision here on first down. Ellinger looking. And incomplete. Nobody in the vicinity that time is Neville Gallimore apply pressure to Sam Ellick. And that's exactly what they needed in this sequence is for Texas to be down. This is how quick it happens when all of a sudden, boom, he's right in your chin. Just like that, Gallimore looping around, and Ellinger had nowhere to go with the ball. But again, huge down here for Oklahoma. Have to keep him out of the short yardage situation. Second and ten. Ellinger likes to go to the two big receivers, Little Jordan. And Colin Johnson. Here's Ellinger. He'll run it. And he'll pick up maybe five on the play. Well, he cut half of it down. What an enormous play here. This is the chance. This is the shot for OU to get off the field. Defense a little gas. This is the shot. I expect Mike Stoops to throw the kitchen sink at Ellinger here on third and five, Gus. From the 35. One on one up top. Ellinger looks that way. Underneath first down, Texas, Colin Johnson. Timely plays by the Longhorn. And what happens when they get one on one coverage they go to Colin Johnson. It was clockwork last series and it's again his body his frame his ability to be physical that creates the separation on Trey Brown and then he's able to get the contested catch and move the chains. First and ten of the forty four. Ingram. And he'll hop through the hole. Pick up two. I gotta think that they're gonna stay on the ground here against this OU defense. They've had so much success running the football, whether it's been Ellinger or even Ingram, who's had some success. He's averaging seven and a half yards per carry on his 11 carries so far today. You gotta think that they're gonna stay on the ground and try to create that third and short situation again. 11 carries, 81 yards for Ingram. Second and seven. Ingram, the true threat from Carthage, Texas. Sam Ellinger looking, surveying, underneath first down. John Burt with the reception, but Sam Ellinger had an eternity to throw the football. Exactly. That O line, it's not just what they're doing in the run game getting movement but it's also the time that Ellinger has had on some of these passing concepts to just view the entire field he goes all the way from the right side all the way to the left side third fourth man in the progression to get the completion and move the chains first down at the 44 for Texas under two minutes to play in the third Beck in motion Ellinger over the middle caught again Little Jordan breaks a tackle. Little Jordan Humphrey picks up 30. Oklahoma 15 for the Longhorns. Ingram starting to warm up at running back. 
Ellinger delivers. Touchdown, Texas. Lil' Jordan. For another touchdown. What a drive from Texas. Three rushing touchdowns for Ellinger. Two passing touchdowns. Mice and men. He's been a winner for a long time, and he's got this Texas pro. Watch Clayton Kershaw. Kyder Murray has to respond, throwing it underneath. Hollywood Brown splits the defense and gets out of bounds and picks up 15. Now this this offense, in its nature, is to score quick. All nine of their touchdowns last last week against Baylor were under three minutes, but they need to be in that mode now. You got to start thinking about getting this down to a 14 seven point deficit, deficit as quick as possible. Sideline caught C.D. Lamb still running. And Lamb stays in bounds. C.D. Lamb finally knocked down as he gets close to the Texas 40 for a 19-yard pickup. And Gus, human nature will tell the defenders to start playing a little bit more cautious because they don't want to make a big egregious mistake. But that's when an offense like this will just start carving you up. So they got to stay aggressive. On first down, Murray looking. Murray decides to run it. Murray. Flag on the play, still on the move, and finally loses an edge inside the 15. This one's going to be coming back. Ben Powers, the left guard, number 72, is going to get called for holding right where Murray left the pocket. He went right up the middle. Holding offense, number 72. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. It's first down. Here's Powers. And as Murray takes off, watch his right hand. He just kind of holds him right there. You see that? That's exactly where the flag came out. Good call, because that's obviously affecting the play right there as Murray is leaving the pocket right through that gap. So OU's got to back up. Ten seconds and counting for Oklahoma. I don't think they're going to get it off. Porter's going to end. And that's the end. to Sermon. He's got a lane. And Trey Sermon. He will pick up about six on the play. Devontae Davis defensively for Texas. Lincoln Riley's got to start thinking about cutting this game into thirds. Down three scores. You got to score minimum before the 12 minute mark to start having a chance thinking about the time of possession what it's going to take to get three possessions and get them into the end zone in order to cut this deficit down. Second and 13. Murray pulls it out. Looking over the middle. Incomplete. E. Morris, the intended receiver. And that brings up third down and long. Boy, there is just nothing in your playbook that is designed for this. You got things that you can go to, but very little. The only solace that Lincoln Riley has is that this is certainly with this score four down territory in particular with the field position so Kyler Murray can throw this short of the chains maybe look for some run after the catch but they're going to go for it on fourth as well. Look for Hollywood Brown third and 13 at the 44 Murray in trouble and he's sacked. So Oklahoma forced to punt Seibert sends it away Jamison is the deep man. And he has the fair catch at the 16. Be back in the driver's seat. They'll play West Virginia at home as they run it on first down. Trey Watson without a flag. Holding offense number 52. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. It's first down. It's Sam Cosme, the right tackle. Earned his job after Shackelford left the lineup at center and Cosme went in at tackle. They moved some other people around, but Cosme's been playing such good football. They kept him in the lineup out there, big 52, but a little too aggressive there, and they'll have to back up. Doesn't it feel, Gus, like Texas is letting out a decade's worth of frustration today? It certainly does. It certainly does. 
they have not been the program that they have wanted to be since Colt McCoy walked off the field at the Rose Bowl in the national championship game against Alabama and they have been desperate to get back to that point and certainly this doesn't put them in the playoff or a national but this feels like Texas is the team now all of a sudden to beat in the Big 12 the way that they have manhandled the Sooners here today first down and 10 of the 17. Excuse me first down at 18 at the nine and a flag on the play after the penalty. Looks like you're going to get another hold here. Holding offense number 72 at the distance to the goal. First down. It's Elijah Rodriguez. Number 72 he's the right guard. He's going up against number 90, Neville Gallimore. Yeah, no doubt. Got him hooked, just tackles him down. Two points for the takedown, but a hold in football. First down and 23 now at the four. Well, here you go. Here's your opening, right? Not only could you get off the field in this type of a situation, but you could create field position for your offense for a potential quick strike score. Allinger. Takes a snap in the end zone, gives it to Trey Watson, and he'll lean forward for about two. Kamani Bledsoe, Robert Barnes combining on the tackle. You know, last week against Kansas State, Tom Herman, who was having to call the plays because Tim Beck was in the hospital with an infection in his elbow, the offensive coordinator, he thought that he and Sam Ellinger both kind of went into a shell in that ball game and played too conservatively. And one of his things that he wanted to do this week was not get into that mode. Well, this is that choice, right? You're backed up near your own goal line. Is he going to be aggressive or is he just going to run this out and punt it away? Second and 21 at the six. He's going to run it out and punt it away. As Watson gives him a little bit of breathing room. Hookie with the tackle. The last two times we've seen this long yardage situation on third down. Oklahoma has played what I would call an umbrella coverage. They just send everybody deep. They've got three, four guys deep back near the sticks. And what Texas has been able to do is throw it short and gain a lot of yardage and create a short yardage fourth down situation. Now, Texas has gone for it on those two previous occasions. I doubt they would do that here. Third and 16 at the 11. Empty backfield for Ellinger. And he throws underneath ball. Caught. Will Jordan gets up to the 21. As Kenneth Mann rides him down, clock still moving. 11 minutes to go in the fourth. Lincoln Riley will get his offense back on the field. And they're going to have to go gangbusters now. You're looking at getting the ball with about 10 15 left in this game, and they're going to have to go like crazy offensively if they want to come back. Buczewski, high snap. He handles it well and gets it away. And the ball will be downed at the 46. 45 24. Oklahoma first and 10 at the 46. Murray gives it to Sermon. Sermon still moving and Sermon picks up eight maybe nine on the play as he stopped by Caden Stearns. If I was Texas I would have a guy over the top of Hollywood Brown at all times force them to hand the ball off seven eight nine times in order to score because the clock is a huge ally if you're Texas second and one Murray incomplete sermon the intended receiver out of the backfield and that's exactly what they're doing because they've got two safeties way back there and a third safety in the game number twenty five. B.J. Foster, who's playing a little bit of a robber or a spy technique. So you've got 19 and 7, Caden Stearns and Brandon Jones, plus B.J. Foster in the game. They're just spying Murray's eyes. Third down and one. Sutton, first down OU. We're just inviting them to do that. Go ahead. Hand the football off. We're going to let the clock run. 
We're up three scores. We've put ourselves in great position, and it's going to force Murray to put the ball in precarious situations if he wants to get it down the field. First down to the 42. Tyler Murray in trouble underneath, and he finds Hollywood Brown, who gets close to that first down marker, an eight-yard pickup, P.J. Locke. Brings him to the turf. Boy, how big of a tackle was that from P.J. Locke? Because there was some green grass in front of Hollywood there, and the nickelback P.J. Locke with a great open field tackle, getting him down to the ground. Second down to two at the 34. Brown lines up in the backfield. Now goes in motion again. Just trying to move him around and see if they can get some sort of matchup. Here's a handoff. Sutton, a lot of daylight before being knocked down at the 19 by Stearns, a 16-yard pickup. But remember when we used to watch Texas games, and they always had, similar to Oklahoma, a problem tackling. Not the same story with this Texas team. Yeah, you know, for about the last, I would call it 10 games, they've been one of the better tackling teams in the Big 12. Murray rolls out of the pocket, over the middle, ball caught. Lee Morris, touchdown OU. 18 yards, or is it? Looks like it is. What a great design there, and a great little flip from Kyler Murray. Watches. You're going to see at the end of the run, does he get into the end zone before anything comes down? Looks like he does. Yeah, excellent job by Morris, keeping his knee above the ground, reaching the ball over the goal line for the touchdown. And Murray's able to get him into the end zone fairly quickly. So now OU. Still with a good shot here. Fourth passing touchdown of the day for Kyler Murray. Seibert in to attempt the extra point. And it's good. 8.28 to play, 45-31 Texas. But Oklahoma continues to fight. Back after this. Cyber booms another kick out of the end zone. So we will stay right here. First and 10 of the 25. Ellinger running it. Ellinger, first down. You got to think about it like this. Every time you make a first down, you can essentially. If well, actually, the, they're going to say he's short. Just short of that. So but the clock continues to run. Every time that you make a first down you can essentially if they don't take a timeout drag about two minutes and 30 two minutes and 45 seconds off of the game clock. That's how you have to view these type of situations it's all about the set of downs and that's why they're just going to sit here and let it roll let it roll almost beneficial that he didn't get the first down there. Seven on the play clock. Now they get into it second and one at the 34. They hand it off to Ingram and I don't think he got it. Here's your shot. Here's your shot if you're Oklahoma. Kenneth Mann defensively for OU. Oklahoma has got to send the house. This is their opportunity to get off the field. Mike Stoops has got to put everybody near the line of scrimmage. You've got to assume that this is going to be Ellinger carrying the ball. And he's been very successful running over that right side. Here they come. You see the blitz. Now it's one on one on the outside, Gus. Third down and one. Ellinger throwing it underneath. First down, Beck. Andrew Beck bobbled it, but managed to trap it at the end. Yeah, and he's just going to cut across the middle of the defense. Just a little inside slant route. That's actually poor technique from the defender, because when you have everybody selling out for a blitz, you've got to play inside leverage. you got no help in there. So Barnes has got to understand that know that that's where the wide receiver is going to try to go and try to go bat that ball down. Now Texas with a new set of downs can continue to milk this clock. First down at the 38 for Sam Ellinger. Ellinger keeps it. And he crosses the 40 Kenneth Mann with the tackle a three yard gain. So impressed with Sam Ellinger. 
I am too. Not the flashiest player, is he, partner? But man, he gets it done. He's tough. He's been really smart with the football. Has not put it in precarious spots. He's been incredibly efficient, both with his arm and with his feet. Allegher, 20 of 26. He's thrown for 285 yards and two passing touchdowns, and he's run for three touchdowns. And he hands it off. Ingram bouncing through the hole. Curtis Bolton with a tackle, but it's a gain of four. And this is why I said two first downs would likely do it. You're just getting to that point, and Lincoln Riley knows it. He's going to take a timeout and talk it over on the sideline. Oklahoma calls their second time. Keontae Ingram in the game and running back. Sam Ellinger has been perfect today. On third and three. Ellinger looks backside and just gets rid of it. Boy. Boy. I got to tell you I do not like that play call even if you run it and don't get it you're going to let the game clock continue to run the clock is your best friend they changed the play at the line of scrimmage because of what OU showed them on defense I think that was a mistake from Texas and now that there's a sliver now that door is not totally shut this guy's explosive CD lamb and OU who knows. Wojcicki sends it off. Toward the sideline. Field via their defense. First down at the 33. Kyler Murray runs it. He's got to get out of bounds. Murray still moving. Wow! Look at the speed. Kyler Murray touchdown. Oh, you 67 yards. Unbelievable. This dude's a legend. He is a legend. Everyone around here knows it. Maybe the greatest high school football player in the history of Texas. And you can never say never. My goodness. A designed quarterback run down 14 with about five and a half minutes left in the Red River showdown. And this dude turned on the Jets. Wow. Extra point good. Here we go. Broken glass everywhere now, folks. Oklahoma, Texas, 5-11 to go. Don't touch that dial. Throw it with the efficiency that Murray does. That was incredible. And now you start to think back to those series where Torter lead. They've given up more fourth quarter leads than anybody in college football over the last two years. First down of the 25 for Ellinger. The Texas offense has to refocus. They need their best drive right now. Here's the handoff. Ingram. Ingram. Flag on the play. If it stands, it's a first down as he gets to the 40. A pretty blatant hold right in the middle of the line of scrimmage. Number 56. Ten yards from the previous spot. This offensive line has completely lost their rhythm. Watch the center. That's Shackelford. And as Curtis Bolden blitzes, he's just tackled right in the middle of the line of scrimmage. Easy call by the officials who have had an outstanding game today in a huge environment. And this offensive line, they have lost their rhythm. They're no longer moving people off the ball. They're catching people. That's three holds in the last two series. So after the holding penalty, they back it up. First down and 20. OU with one timeout left. Texas with two. Got to stay over the top of those big wide receivers if you're Oklahoma. Can't allow a big play. Ellinger. Sideline. Ball caught. And then Jordan gets out of bounds as he's knocked out by Justin Broyles. 
Boy, that clock is. stops at 434. Even a design like that, an outside breaking route, you've got an, a chance to stop the clock when you don't want it to stop, even though it's going to run, obviously, outside of this two-minute mark. Second and 13 of the 22. Ellinger rolls out of the pocket, throws on the move. Incomplete. Little Jordan Humphrey, the intended receiver, and that brings up a huge third and 13 at the 22-yard line. Maybe the biggest play of the game for both teams. No question about it. The tendency in this situation, OU has played that umbrella coverage I described earlier. They've had three and four guys back deep over the top. Colin Johnson. And Lil Jordan Humphrey are both going to be at the top of your screen. And right now, OU doesn't have a safety over the top, but it looks like they will start to move Robert Barnes that direction, number 20. Beck is in the slot at the bottom, third and 13 at the 22. Here's Ellinger. Steps up down the field. Incomplete. Trey Brown with terrific coverage. And it looks like Oklahoma will get another shot at it. On 10. End over end kick. Lamb. From the 37. Bouncing around and finally taken down at the 10 at the 43. Here's Murray. Jumps it off. Sermon with blockers in front of him. Sermon first down. Sermon down the sideline and knocked out of bounds deep in Texas territory. Brandon Jones with the saving push. 35-yard gain. Are we witnessing this right now? 21 points in the fourth quarter? First and 10 at the 22 for Oklahoma. Down 45 to 38. Murray to Sermon. Sermon! Another first down still on his feet as he crawls forward to the seventh. The determination from Sermon gets drilled, stays on his feet, fights for extra yardage. First down and goal at the seventh. Under three minutes to go. Kyler Murray has been brilliant. Murray, option, pitch, serve, and touchdown, Oklahoma! What a comeback! It's the fake, then they're gonna get outside on the option, and Murray just pitches it right away, and it becomes a foot race between Sermon and the true freshman, Caden Stearns. Sermon cuts it back inside, easy touchdown, and OU has come all the way back. Cyber to tie, and it's good. How about this? The Red River Showdown, late in the fourth quarter. OU, Texas. 45 up. Texas wants to do it this year, but now the real fight begins. As the Longhorns will come on the field with true freshman kicker for Texas, Cameron Dicker, who has struggled over the last couple of weeks. He did have a big one today, 44 yards. First and 10 of the 25. Ellinger. Checks it down. Caught. Watson, and he gets out of bounds. Where do the Longhorns need to go to get in Cameron Dicker range? He's, he's at most, I would feel comfortable with something at around 45, 46 yards. That puts you right around the 26, 27 yard line that you got to drive all the way towards. 
Nope. These big guys on the outside have got to play big now. Colin Johnson and little Jordan Humphrey, they've got to be the guys right now. Dickers' season long is 46 yards against USC. Second and 11. Ellinger winds up. Incomplete, but a flag. Trey Norwood covering Colin Johnson, and this may be interference. Pass interference. Defense number 13. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Woods trying to play physical over on that outside, and he's just got a piece of Colin Johnson with that left hand. And it's not the fact that he didn't turn around, but it's the contact that draws the penalty in that left hand that's right there. I thought that was an excellent call. Impeded the wide receiver's ability to get back to that ball. And Norwood draws the flag. First and 10 for Texas. At the 39. Ellinger, flag on the play. Over the middle. This ball caught by Duvernay. But there was a lot of movement on the line. Looked like OU jumped just a little bit. Kenneth Mann from his defensive end position. I don't know if he was drawn Outside. offside. Defense number 55 was in the neutral zone at the snap. The penalty is declined. Result of the play is first down. By rule, the clock will restart with the next snap. Cameron Dicker, the freshman from Austin, starting to get loose. They need to get to about right here. Gus, the 27, 26 yard line to give him a solid shot. First and 10 at the 43. Ellinger under pressure. Ellinger incomplete. Duvernay, the intended receiver. Parnell Motley defensively. Well, they're giving their big guys chance. I know Duvernay is not one of the big guys, but Motley does a great job of, again, going through the catching zone. His hands are up. He goes straight up through it, avoids contact. I thought that was great coverage. Cameron Dicker was two-time All-Stater in Austin. His career-long 53 yards in high school. Second and 10 at the 43. It's a little different in high school here. Ellinger underneath Beck plows forward. Andrew Beck picks up seven and a really good design because remember without a first down it doesn't matter what type of field goal range your kicker has you got to move the chains here and they get down down to a short yardage situation third and three at the 36. Ellinger runs it breaks it back and picks up the first down the hard way. This kid is awesome. Look and kick the field goal. First down at the 32. Ingram in the backfield. Here comes a blitz. Ellinger will throw it. Ellinger sideline. Incomplete. Allen Johnson, the intended receiver. Clock stops at 104. You saw that was in his mind, right? Because he was kind of open, but there was an underneath defender. And where did that ball go? Way far outside, even too far for Colin Johnson, because Ellinger knew he has to be careful with this football. They're leaving a lot of time in that timeout. Again, the run with Ellinger, I think, would set up the field goal opportunity and drain the clock. Second and ten. Ellinger will throw it. No, quarterback run with a lane. Ellinger dragged down after he gained eight by Curtis Bolton. They're getting closer and closer to comfortability for freshman Cameron Dicker. Under a minute to go now. And you do not call a different play. And OU is going to waste that timeout. That's why you call the run play. You force them to take the timeout. You start getting the clock on your favor, and you put yourself in a more advantageous position to kick this field goal. Third down and two. Here's 
Ellinger running it. He won't pick up the first down. So with 50 seconds and counting. Texas will let it wind down even more. Yep, they'll take a timeout at the end of this play clock. So the kick won't end the game, but it'll be very close to it. Cameron Dicker, a true freshman from Austin. Immortality. Dicker drives it deep into the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. Nine seconds left. Kendall bobbles the snap, picks it up, throws Hollywood Brown, and he gets out of bounds with three seconds to go. Well, as a as a kid, I saw Cordell Stewart throw a ball about this far, and that's what it's going to take right now. Murray back in at quarterback. With three seconds to go. 48-45, Texas. Murray. Over the middle, C.D. Lamb goes laterally. Lamb pitches it. Sermon throws it back. Flags on the play. Loose ball covered up by Texas.